Hey, hi guys, this is Baka Pachincholikar. After doing a lot of survey on uh, Facebook and LinkedIn, I have come up with uh, interview questions and answers. First, I'll be covering set of uh, videos on in Java programs. And after that, uh, I'll be covering other interview questions as well. So these programs will be helping to the all the software developers and as well as the automation testers. So let us jump to the today's uh, Java program, which are which is asked in most of the interviews. So first program I'll be covering for so write a write a program to separate alphabets and the numeric values. So this is my string I have that is an input interview Java program. So in each of the word at the end of the word I have added one simple numeric values that is 0 1 and 2 3 4 and after that I have added 5 6 7. So basically this is my input and how your output should be look like is so it should be separated by this is my alphabets although I mean the words and after that one more string will be getting with all this 0 1 and 2 3 4 and 5 6 7. So this is the alphabet we will be getting it after uh, separating the this particular string. This is the first output and one more output will be getting it as So that will be numeric values that is 0 1 then after that 2 3 4 after that it is going to print us the another three digits that is 5 6 7 so this will be our first output and after that one more output is all numeric values so let us jump to the eclipse id So here what I have done is I have created created a simple uh, Maven project under that I have created one more project uh, sorry one one more package that is called com.programs.interviewjava programs. So quickly I will create one simple Java program with the main. So here I am creating one simple Java class. So here I am going to select this particular uh, public static wide main. Then after that, I'll mention the Java program name. So here I'm mentioning interview Java program 01. So that's it. Click on finish. So let me maximize this. So that's it. So let us take our uh, input string first. So I'll copy this particular input string. So I'll store that in the format of string. So I'll say input string as a variable name and I'll simply assign to the input string uh, variable. That's it. So first I'll define two uh, string variables. First one is alphabets. alphabets so this at the end this particular string will be storing all the alphabets from the given string alphabets so i'll assign simply nothing to this particular string in the same way i'll create one more string variable that is called numeric so for this string also I will not assign anything to it. So this is also empty string. So as of now we have input string that is interview 01 and Java 234 program then 567. So after that I have different two variables that is alphabets and the second one is a numeric. So what I will do is I will write a simple for loop for so this particular for loop is for just to iterate this particular all the string string values. So what I'll do is I'll write simple int 
i is equal to 0, then i less than, i less than. So, if I need to count the number of alphabets and the number of digits are there in this particular string, so what I need to do, if I need to run my loop through entire all these values, particular values, what I will do is, I will call to the simple one method called length length method so i'll copy this i'll copy this particular string variable and i'll paste it here so dot so we have one inbuilt method available called length so this particular length method gives the number of characters are there in this particular string given that is input string so that's it so after that uh, just I'll increment the i value. So this particular for loop will be running starting from this i and it will end in this particular 7 that is a numeric value. So that's it. So once this particular sorry once this particular loop is running through this input string what I will do is I'll simply take this particular input string. I'll call to the one more method called caret. So this particular caret method it accepts the argument as an index. So what I will pass here is simply I will pass the this particular i variable. If I pass the i variable, so this is going to return as the character every time say for example first whenever the i value is 0 so it is going to point i so whenever the i value is whenever i i value increments so it goes to the i value is equal to 1 so it points to the n and whenever the i value increments so that time i value will be 2 so it points to the t so like this it points to the every single alphabets or a numeric value in this particular input string. So what I will do is whenever I get this particular index value based on this index we are going to get this particular characters from this input string. So I will store that into the char type. So that is it. So this particular ch variable it is going to hold each and every characters from this particular input string. So by using that I will write one a simple if condition here if. So I am using here one inbuilt class that is character character dot is digit. So if you look at here, is digit is already existing method, it accepts the character type of argument. So I'll click on that particular method. So what I'm saying here is I'll pass this particular character here in the argument. If character, so whatever this particular character ch variable contains, if if it is particular ch is the character then simply it you can add to the this particular variable so what i'll say is i'll add to the ch then i'll simply assign back to the numeric string variable then if it is not a string whatever you are getting this particular ch variable value so that will be your alphabet right so that's the reason in the else part I'll write to the, I'll add to the numeric, I mean the, sorry, not a numeric, it is the alphabets. So simply I will add to the alphabets. Then I'll assign to the alphabet variable, that's it. So our job is done, this much only. So here only simple logic I have used, only that is character dot is, is digit, it is an inbuilt method just it accepts the character. So this particular ch it is going to hold the 
each and every character first time it is going to hold the i value and it compares if it is a digit it will add to the numeric variable if not if it is not a digit it is going to add to the this particular alphabet variable next time this particular ch will be holding pointing to the n n character it will simply compares n is if it is a digit it will add to the numeric and if it is not a digit it will add to the alphabets so let me print all the this particular variables like alphabets and the numerics so once you are done with this writing this particular if condition so almost all the job is done so what i will do is i'll simply write sys system dot out dot print ln here first i'm going to print the numeric so here i'll write numeric values are simply i'll write just i'm printing on the screen that's it so this particular system dot out dot print ln it will be using for the printing on the your console output in the same way i'll print alphabets as well so that's it just execute this program run as java application so if you look at here numeric values are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and the next alphabet values are interview java program so that's what we have explained in the beginning of this tutorial so for, this is our input and we have received the output that is the first output as java interview java program the second output is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so that's it guys stay tuned for the next tutorial on many interview java programs and also we will be going to discuss how to draw patterns by using the java programs if you have any questions please comment on the comment section of this below video thank you thank you so much for watching this video